combustion chambers. Now, DI, combustion chambers, all you internet know-it-alls and keyboard commandos are probably gonna blow me up saying, there is no way you should be doing that. Well, let me tell you successfully, we have done it to almost every genre that has a DI and we make great power with them. We make up to 1200 horsepower with it. So we're just gonna go with what we know. Now I'm gonna start off with the half inch super spiral burr from Head Gains Motorworks. Now I cut them down because I'm doing combustion chambers. I'll need to be six inches far on it. And so we got four inches. Then I'm gonna blend it in some of the tight spots with the Head Games Deburr Burr. Uh, this is gonna make it so I can get into like some really tight spots that you can't get into with a bigger burr. GDO 906 grinder. Uh, this is the double cut burr. Let me see if we can get that thing in focus. This dude, uh, this dude doesn't want to be in focus. Here you go. So this is the three eighths from Head Games Motorworks. We're going to do this one too. And this is going to make it so everything is just nice and pretty uh, smooth to sand. How am I going to sand it? We're going to use 60 grit first. 60 grit is going to make all the marks go away. And then we hit it with the sanding disc. Now you might want to see in my other videos where I modified the disc holder. So that way it's nice and cushy, goes around it. These are the sanding discs. And I use this also to get the marks away, get any bumps and makes it all smooth. Then lastly, hit it with a 120. This the 120 is for the finishing and for making it just basically look good. And last but not least, scotch Bright By hand, you just go over it, just kind of making it nice and pretty. Here's a little explanation you'll see here. This is one we did. Here is the is stock. Now, stock, you'll see how there's a lot of hot spots. Now, there's like a ledge here. There is a hot spot here, and it's very tight and really sharp. And so we blended all that in. Now, I didn't make the chamber bigger per se. I just softened all of, like I shaped this. So you can see here, I shaped this and I shaped around the spark plug. Now, the spark plug is very important to note because on the S55 BMWs, we see a lot of cracks. They go from the spark plug to the valve seats. It's a very common issue. Now, it never causes an issue where you have to wreck the head, but it also is very detonation prone if it causes misfires and stuff because they have this stuff so sharp and the, and the spark plug sits out really far. And the other part of this is it's gonna blend the combustion chamber into the valve job. So it's gonna blend it right into the top angle of the valve job. Now, how do I get that done? So we take a valve, this is just a regular valve we have, and this is the margin right here, this part right here. What we do to protect the valve seat and to blend it all in is we will take this 45 degree angle that the valve usually sits on the valve seat with, and we're gonna make it razor sharp, such as this guy. There you go. So you see how it's razor sharp? Because it's razor sharp, I could put it on the valve seat and it completely blends in, you don't have any kind of edges, and then I can blend the combustion chamber into that. The valve is not reusable. I get that question all the time. People freaking out about me wrecking a valve into a combustion chamber. We are not reusing these things. They are a tool. Here's a tech tip. If you have a valve that doesn't sit at the right height. So now the valve should sit, as I said, like it should blend it right into the combustion chamber. But if it sits low and you think you're gonna hit the valve seat, you can put tape. See, I put tape around it and I'll cut the top off. So that way I'm gonna raise it up just enough to be usable. So now we have the combustion chamber valves in. Again, they're a tool, they're not to be reused. And you can see that a little tiny bit of the top angle is showing. That's fine. You don't want a lot of the top angle showing. You just want like a little bit because it won't get hit. It's just gonna blend right in here when you use a grinder and a sander. All this stuff will just blend right in and you'll blend the whole combustion chamber into the top angle.
Gonna apologize to our YouTube fans. We actually lost some of the footage of doing the combustion chambers, but here you can see the before and after. And here is the finished product with the GSC power division valves. The head's all milled and ready to rock and roll and makes for some boosted beatings. I'm sure that none of you guys are gonna be blasting off your, your brand new Supra. You're gonna be pulling off the cylinder head and start doing this stuff at home. But we wanted to show you a little bit of the stuff that we do to make our cars make more wheel horsepower. Uh, now, a word of caution is if you're gonna do the combustion chamber, you're gonna have your guy do the combustion chamber is that you do a port injection and a DI because the DI uses the combustion chamber to work properly. And if you're gonna take it away, you should really use the port injection as well. That does it for me today. Comment below, like, subscribe, do it all. Toodles.